Hey guys and welcome back to the channel Krusty Cranks TV where we do lure painting and bait making and uh, today we're going to do this is number CC019 the olive shad all right so um, this one's really easy it's a really easy bait to paint and um, we'll bust this baby out in no time got a customer order for a couple of them so um, I thought I'd bring one on and we'd paint it on here all right so it's really easy the only colors we're going to have is of course titanium white let's see we've got titanium golden titanium white wicked pearl white and um then we're going to use some detail moss green and the last color we're going to do is um, pearlized orange for the chin. Okay, so pretty easy paint job. Um, let's get into it. All right, so um, I already went on and put my pearl white on there. I always like to do that just if I'm doing a bunch of baits up. Um, and I know I'm going to be having pearl on some of them. I've got some left in the gun. I'll usually go ahead and, and pearl it up. So um, this one's already got the golden white and the wicked pearl. So next we're going to go to the pearlized orange. And got my clean out my brush here real quick. Guys, if you uh doing a bunch of baits and you're in between colors and stuff, what I've found really helps me out is after I've cleaned my brush, is always uh, dab a little brush cleaner in there and just let it sit in the bottom of your bowl if you're going to be jumping into the next color. Especially most of the time I'll end with black, so my bowl's really kind of dirty. Um... And sometimes I'll just even, if I'm, I'm doing a bunch of baits at once, I'll just dab a little bit of white, just a drop of white in there. And uh, flush it out, flush it through before I go to a color, especially if I'm going to like a bright color. Um, this white kind of helps clean it out a little bit, gets the black out of there. and just makes it quicker for me to get right into painting my bait. And that way, a little, as long as there's not a lot of white in there, it's just a little bit in the bottom of the bowl. It's not going to hurt you one bit. So we're going with the orange first just because it's a little lighter color. Um, and I only got just a little bit of it to use. I probably got way too much in there. should have used my little brush. Okay, turn this down. Pressure down. Got a little dab of orange in there. And we're just going to hit this chin a little bit. Okay, that's all there is to it. All right, I'm going to clean this out and we'll get onto the green okay last color we're going to go with is um wicked detail moss green now this can be a dark paint or it can almost give you an olive color so um it actually does give you an olive color so we're going to hit this dude real light real light Try not to go over it too much if you want to get that olive look. Try not to keep going over it and over it because the more you do, you're going to get more to a darker moss green. All 
right there. That's it. Simple, but an effective pattern. I sell a bunch of these, really. This this color is a popular color. Let me hit the tip just a little bit. Hit the tail just a little bit. All right. The hardest thing is just to let it go because you want to keep putting more paint on there, more paint on there. But it, like I said, it gets darker on you, especially once you get the epoxy on there. It's darker. I need to just go just a little bit. See what I mean? It's hard. You you, you just don't want to let it go. Because you think, ah, it's not dark enough. But actually, it gives you that olive green color. All right? That's all we're going to do with that bait. I'm going to put try it and put the eyes on it and get some epoxy on it. Pretty simple one. Fast and simple. Okay. I'm going to get the eyes on this dude. Um, this one particular bait we're using the red eyes again these are a popular eye and they with lighter colors they really pop out of there especially on these big big eyed baits this lure has big eyes on it Slip it off on there. Push it down in there with my burnisher. It's a really simple, fast bait pattern, guys. And like I said, it's, it's effective. I sell a few of these. So I like the burnisher because, like I've said in earlier videos, um, when you push down on it and you got super glue on there, sometimes you get the super glue on your finger, and it ends up clouding up your eyes. So I like to put it on there, get the eye in position. If I got to use my finger to slide it off, I'll slide it off my finger. But then I use a burnishing tool right here just to push it down and make sure it's seated in that little eye socket. And I can still move it around and I don't have super glue all over this. All right. There's the uh, finished olive shad. So um, we're going to go ahead and get the epoxy on it. And I'll bring you back and show you the finished product. All right, friends. We're back. We got this guy all, all epoxied up. Um, this is the uh, crusty olive shad CC00019. Sorry, CC019. And um, so the colors we used on this bait was titanium white, wicked pearl white. We used a little pearl tangerine on the chin, and just a light dusting of detail moss green by wicked colors. Um, then. Uh, we used the red eyes, solid, almost solid red eyes, little iridescence in them. And I think it turned out really nice. It really, epoxy really turned out real good on this one. Really nice. I just love that epoxy. All right. Um, okay, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, please give us a like if you haven't already. And subscribe to the channel. Um, YouTube says only 70% of our views are coming from unsubscribed. So please subscribe. It helps us in the algorithms. Helps us get out there, share these videos with your friends, and um, ring that notification bell so you get notified when we put up the next video. We got a bunch. Of, I got a bunch of videos and um, bait making coming. Um, just stacking them up right now. So um, yeah, make sure you you get subscribed and uh, click that notification bell. All right, and as always, 
Stay crusty, my friends. Mm-hmm.